Hi there, I just wanted to jump in and say thank you for making it this far in the SQL series. Um, still lots more to cover. I mean, subqueries, CTEs, store procedures, um, design, uh, tables. Um, but thank you very much if you made it this far. I will concatenate this whole series at the end, but if you want to view more bite-sized content, Power BI, Python, um, SQL content, feel free to explore my channel. Uh, like, subscribe, comment and share because that helps me help you. Thank you very much. I'm going to duck out. Hello and welcome to this 10th episode of our SQL for Data Analysis series where today we're looking at the union operator. Um, so nice timing after uh, we looked at joins and views. Um, so the union operator is used to combine the results set of two or more select statements. So essentially we can sort of mold those two select statements um, into one sort of a table output almost or, or in that fashion. Every select statement, these are a few things we should know. Every select statement within union must have the same number of columns. So within those two statements that we're merging, they need to have similar data types and the columns in every select statement must also be in the same order. I would also say the difference between join and union. Join is applicable when the two involved relations have at least one common attribute. And in union, we want the columns present in the query to be the same and the corresponding attributes have the same domain. And the union returns distinct values. If you want to counter this, we can use union all. So let's see this um, working. If we select city from customers, I'm in the North Wind database and city from suppliers, you can see that in the customers, we have, you know, a, a large output. We've got 91 and we've got 29 cities that belong to our suppliers. So let's say we want one single output that shows the cities in both customers and suppliers. Let's power up our data a little bit. So we can select union, um, select that, add the semicolon, we'll order it by city, and we'd be expecting 120 results, but we get 93, and that's because, like we said, the union just returns distinct values, which means it's not going to repeat a city more than once. Um, but that could happen because it could be customers and suppliers. So dependent on the granularity, you want to see the level of detail. Um, we might have to use union all to get those 120 um, lines returned. So let's look at another example. We can take the city and the country from customers. And then we can say something like, you know, where the country is equal to Spain. Again, if we want to, we're, we're really going to use union in basic terms to sort of mold our data and get powerful, rich results. So we can do that and then we can just repeat the same thing essentially um, and do this with suppliers like we did before. Customers and suppliers in this database is what we're focusing on. Um, so we'll say from suppliers and again, where the country is equal to Spain. And we can run the both of those and you see that essentially between the two, we have six results. But in the first, um, in the from the customers table, we actually have three instances of Madrid. So of course, this is going to vary um, whether we use union or union all. Now, if we use the standard union, we again can merge the customers and suppliers within one output and we get that four results. If we use union all, if we actually select the right query and use union all, we'll get those six results. So we can take one final example and power this up. And what we're going to do is say, we're going to select the customer and give it the alias, the new temporary column name of type, take the contact name, city and country from customers, where that's equal to Spain. And then we're gonna join it with a union, well, not a join, but we're gonna use a union to, to merge this in one output, these two select queries. And then we're going to say select supplier, the contact name, say in the country, and that supplier will be reflected as type also uh, because we've got that initial alias in our union. And then we're going to order it by type and look at the output. So if we click that, there we go. We expect the customer because it, it goes in the ascending alphabetical order than the supplier. And we've got really rich results with our customer and supplier details. And again, just a great example as to instead of joins, how we can use union to get more rich results, merger select statements, and power up our data. 
So as usual, if you like this content, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe and share. Thank you.